What's going on everyone? Connor here from Vox Pop Games and welcome back to our how to series. This time we're going to be breaking down Disaster Golf by Hippo Havoc. The first and most important thing you need to know about Disaster Golf are the disasters themselves, as these are what you will be using in order to move the ball around the green. Let's start with an old classic, the Meteor. Using the Meteor will launch the ball across the green. But depending on where the Meteor lands, its launch angle can vary. Meteor is a great option for a starting smack on a hole. Next up is Wind, which acts more as a putter. The wind pushes the ball slightly in a single direction, but the power of it can be adjusted by dragging the wind closer or further away to the ball. Wind also has a cousin called Sandstorm, that functions similarly but with one key difference. The Sandstorm will give the ball a slight kick upwards. This is great for levels where you need to carefully control the ball's momentum in the air. The first of our utility disasters is the Singularity. The Singularity drags the ball towards its center and can be useful for catching the ball from the air. It's also great for speed runs when you need to move the ball downwards quickly. Back to launching the ball forwards though, we have the Earthquake. The Earthquake will bounce the ball forward. Each time the ball touches the ground, it will be accelerated in the direction it is moving in. The earthquake can often be more difficult to use than some of the other disasters, but when it is useful, it is very useful. <gasps> what? On to another utility disaster, we have the geyser. This disaster launches the ball directly into the air, giving you instant height. This is a great setup disaster that can be combined with basically any other disaster in the game. Last but not least, we have lightning. The lightning launches the ball in one direction at, you guessed it, lightning speeds. The lightning is much more effective in the air than it is on the ground, so make sure that you set it up to use it to its full potential. Potential. And that's it for How To Disaster Golf Part 1. Next time, we will be discussing all of the combos you can do with the disasters. But until then, make sure you wishlist Disaster Golf on Steam today.